Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow spinach in lead pot mini. This is a compact 5 pod hydroponic system and the variety I am growing is Bloomsdale long standing spinach. It is very difficult to germinate spinach seeds directly in sponges. So I prepared the seedlings using wet paper towel method. Now I am transplanting them into lead pot. I don't have the new sponges handy, so I am reusing two sponges from a previous grow cycle. I have grown lettuce using these sponges in the past and they are still in decent condition. So I am going to reuse them. I did my best to clean up all the roots from the sponges. For the other pots, I am using rock wool. Starting with sponges, I already split the sponges, so just open it and place the seedlings. Now I am using rock wool for the remaining pods. This is 1.5 inch rock wool cube, but the pods are small, so I am cutting the rock wool cube to fit it into the pods. I think 1 inch rock wool cubes will fit straight into these square pods, but I don't have 1 inch cubes. So I am using whatever I have handy. Once you have the pods ready, next step is to add stickers to cover the pods. But I don't have the stickers for these pods. So I am using aluminum foil to cover the pods. Alright, all the hard work is completed. This whole process took about 15 minutes. But this is it, no more hard work from this point. This garden is all set and good to go. Since I am starting this garden with the seedlings, I will start adding nutrition right away. I will use maxi grow nutrients throughout this grow cycle. And I will use half a teaspoon of nutrients for 1 liter of water. It's been 2 days. The seedlings are settling very well and they are all looking pretty healthy. I think all the seedlings are going to survive. It's been one week. The seedlings are coming excellent. Just for fun, let's take a quick peek at the root system. Look at all these roots coming nicely through the rock wool. So far, so good. It's been 15 days. The seedlings are coming excellent. They started producing nice and big leaves. In fact, some of these leaves are ready to harvest if I want to. So that's really good. One seedling is showing a little bit of weakness. I hope this will catch up the growth. It's been 21 days. The spinach is coming excellent. Look at these huge and beautiful spinach leaves. Four out of five plants are doing excellent here. One plant has been weak from the beginning and it couldn't compete anymore with these huge plants. I don't have any hopes on this plant. If it comes, I'm happy. Otherwise, I'm still fine. Overall, this experiment is going fine. I am planning to start harvesting this spinach sometime soon. Day 26, spinach is coming excellent. Lots of huge leaves. It's time to start harvesting the spinach. That's it. I harvested all the bigger leaves. Here is the harvest which is good enough for today. It's day 33 and 8 days since I lost or harvested the spinach. The plants have come back with a nice spinach. The plants are still producing nice and big leaves. This is really nice. Somehow this uh, fifth plant still not doing any great. This is pretty much gone. It is getting bolted. It's not getting light anymore. So no hopes. But the four plants did very well and this small system worked out very well for spinach. Of course, this is not very similar to the growth in Aidu or Aero Garden that I have grown in the past. But this is really good for this compact 10 watt light system. For its configuration, it really did great. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.